How's it going, guys? And welcome back to Manor Lords, where it is springtime. Our farms have been started. Looks like it's going to be 134 days before we get our first yield, and our citizens are coming along. We have three open slots for more families to move in, but I want to boost their happiness even higher today. And how we're going to be doing that is by providing a clothing stall for supplying clothes, as well as giving them a church. Everybody needs that Jesus in this game. So let's go through and let's give them their ability. Well, that is if that's so be what they want to uh, worship. Oh, wow. I'm actually out of logs. Let's do this. I don't need any more planks for a while. I'm going to remove that person out from from there. And I'm going to take that person and add them to the logging camp. Holy cow, I have way too many planks in storage. In fact, if I look in my large storehouse, I got 70 planks in there. And then I got another 48 of them over here. That is a lot, a lot of planks for now. Now, planks are going to be great for later on for a trading resource, which we will end up doing. We're going to be doing trade. Don't worry. But we just don't need it right now. What I do need right now is the ability to build my church. In order to build my church, I need one more log. In order to get one more log, I need my logging team to not have to go over and supply logs to the woodcutters and the saw pit right now. So if you guys could just go through and... Oh, wait. I bet you. I bet you I know what it is. I bet you that they went through and cleared out their work area. They cleared out this whole area, which is what I asked them to do. So there wasn't any more large trees over there getting in the way of where I wanted to farm. But now they just they ran out of trees completely. That's a good point. They ran out of trees. So I'm going to throw in a forester's hut as well. Throw in a forester's hut right there. We'll get a family work in there at that forester's hut. We'll have them start foresting out this whole area, making sure no matter what, we're still growing more and more trees for these guys to be able to cut down. Becomes an infinite resource. Lots of trade. Everybody wants it. Everybody's happy. It's good stuff. That's how I ran out of logs. It wasn't due to the saw pit cutting up uh, 118 planks. Well, maybe a little bit. But, all right, here we go. Let's get you put in there. I'm going to give you a work area. And your work area is going to be right. Right? Yeah. That's your work area. That's what you get to do, friend. You get to plant trees your whole life. Enjoy it. Love it. Become the grove tender you've always wanted to be. All right. Speaking of things you've always wanted to be, let's go through and let's get ourselves our church. Let's grab ourselves church. Put that in right there. That looks to be good. They're going to get that church built. And then that's going to fulfill their need for church level for amenities. Then all that's left is clothing. Now... I should have a ton of pelts in here. You're right, I do. I got it. I got it. 42 hides. 42. That is going to become plenty for us to get some more production going for saying use hides to produce leather. Let's see. Or you can use wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. But I'm going to do tannery right off the bat. Now, tanneries do stink. I'll tell you guys that. The tanning process of leather... And leather, I think, smells good. But the process of tanning said leather does not smell good. In fact, in the olden days, they used to use pee in order to tan leather. So instead, I'm going to put it uh, down over here by where the oxen live. Because it smells over there anyway. So we're just going to put that over there and say, man, good enough. Good enough. All right. Let's see here going to take a little peeksy peeksy here at my marketplace. I want to look at what I got going here. Food variety. We got berries, meat, bread, eggs, and veggies. Only thing I'm missing is apples and honey. And then I have all of the different food groups that these guys can get. So that's great to see. Firewood supply. I have five firewood for sale right now. Enough firewood for 14 months. That's great. Oh, look. And the church is done. Very, very, very good. Let's assign a family over there. You never know if we're going to have to bury some people, so it's better to bury them on holy ground. That way they don't come back as zombies. I don't know if that actually happens, but we better avoid it anyway. And our tannery's done. Boom. So, just like that, we have not only gone through and had all of the needs for our little people here fulfilled by them getting their church, by their getting their water, their fuel, their food, and soon to be their clothing, 
once they all go through and use this leather in order to sell it over here at the market, and everybody's going to be happy with that. Once that happens, right, then we'll be able to upgrade them, which I'm looking forward to upgrading. But you may be thinking, well, you may you must go through and upgrade these three burgage plots first because they're the ones that have the resources coming out of them. No, no, because why would I do that when I can come over here, upgrade this burgage plot to a level two, right? And then I could start putting some stuff like the cobbler's workshop back there, which is going to take the leather and it's going to turn it into shoes. Or I can start making something like a brewery so we can start giving them some booze or even a blacksmith which is going to start producing tools spears or sidearms for people to go through and fight because we do have some bandit camps around um i honestly don't know where they are but i do know that there's some bandit camps around we can zip around a little bit and see if we can spot them but i know that i made it so there'd be some bandit camps that we'd have to fight off it could be that they're just in a different area right now or that it hasn't been the time that we need before they come in. I think it's three years between attacks. So it must be three years until they actually pop in. And we're only on our first year. So maybe they're not in yet. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Go back in here. Take a look at our burgage plots here. And, oh, wait, I have an upgrade. I got that already. This is tempting. This trade logistics is tempting to get because I want to do trade routes, but I think instead I'm going to go for orchardry. Because I want to get into rye cultivation, but at the same time I want to get to heavy plow. Hmm. Let's do this. Making our current fields larger right now would be nice. But I think it's a little too early. This is better to have early game because it takes three years for the orchards to produce their full yields. So I'm going to go for orchard rate. And then we'll get rye, because that's going to make our current fields even more prosperous. Then we can go for heavy plow to give us even more room to be able to expand our fields. And then finally, we'll get into trade logistics. Our city's going to grow a lot in the next couple uh, in the next couple. Well, maybe about in the next 20 minutes, because I'm going to go through and I'm going to increase the number of farms that we have. I'm going to go through and we're going to start producing a lot more bread. I'm going to go through and we are going to start getting up more and more and more resources so we can start producing higher tier buildings. That's what we're going to be doing here. So let's start with this. I got four families. I'm going to need to slap one into here. I'm going to need to slap one into here. Okay, that's. Two families remaining. We still have some spots to fill, but I'm going to go to this burgage plot that's right here, and this guy is going to get... Oh, I can't because I need wealth. Bollocks. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. How about I just upgrade a couple of these so I can start producing wealth every month? We're going to get those three upgraded, and I'm even going to do something kind of cheeky, which may upset the people which would upset the people that are living there now if it was real life but may upset some of you i'm gonna go through and i'm going to press the button Let's see if i get this rotated around not enough goods i need six oh i need i need a bunch of logs there we go. That's what I wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six more spots, which means I need 12 logs. Um, what did, how much did you end up producing? 52, 51 plus five. How much did you end up producing? 
Honestly, I'm not I'm not sure. I burned through all of my timber. There we go. There's my settlement level upgrading again. Unlock rye cultivation. I'm going to come right over here. I'm going to change this to rye. Change this to rye. Change this to say wheat. And then we'll see what that does to the fertility for wheat. If I start seeing this fertility drop, I'll change that back to fallow. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to affect it. Okay. It's like they're already starting the rye cultivation. Which is good. That's going to grow a lot. And I'm going to take that, change that to rye, change that to fallow. And now we're just going to be doing rye fields. Boom, just like that. Our bread yield has gone up. Now, I'm not a huge fan of rye bread myself. I don't know if you guys are. I think it's a little bitter, personally. Um, it's got a good crunch to it, but I'm not like a huge fan of rye bread. Speaking of being a huge fan of things, what are you guys upset about? What are you, what are, what are you, what are you, fuel? Approval will fall if not fulfilled. Why are we... Here, have a second one. I'm going to put in a second family there, work in that, and then I need to get some more burgage plots put in. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be ten more families right there. I'm going to go ahead and get that built. Boom, ten wood. And I honestly don't have any families that are ready to do construction. Oh, crap. Um, do I have people working at these? No. I have three fam- That's fine. I want the three families working there. Forester's hut's fine. Saw pit's fine. What do we get out of the logging camp? Logging camp's got two families. I'm going to pull one off there. So that way they can- We can have somebody doing construction. I forgot about that. Okay, have you gotten your firewood stall? Okay, only one is missing a firewood stall, which is strange, but... Anyway, there we go. Our burgage plots are getting built. Our approval rating is so friggin' high right now that there's no way I'm not going to start having people get moving in here. What is with the fuel? That's weird. That's weird that the fuel is not being taken care of. I wonder if it's because I put the, the woodcutter too far away from the people. That'd be a weird thing to have happen, but it's possible. To go through, start expanding these living spaces. Immediately get to go through, get those all expanded out. Nice! Regional wealth is starting to pick up, which means I'm going to be able to start charging more money soon. What? I'm even going to pull you up. Why not? And... Screw it! The goat guy gets leveled up, too. Why not? We can use the extra money, right? Lots of construction going on right now. It's a good thing we got more families moving in. I got lots of families moving in. I may honestly put another well over here because the well is kind of far away from some of these guys. Although it does say they have water access all the way down here. Nice. That's really strange that they're not getting fuel. Fuel for 50%. What's going on down here? Do I need a third person? I'm going to put a third person working there. That's very strange. Or.
I don't think I'm so much that that I need to worry about. I think it's more this that I'm going to need to do. If I get a storehouse selling stuff, they can set that up. I think. And then if I put somebody in the granary to work as well, they can sell food as well, making it so there's even more marketplace stalls. All right, I'm going to try that out and see if that does it. I think that that's doing what I want it to do now. And I still have so much stuff here. I got so much stuff here. Hunting limit 10. I'm going to bring that up to 15. 15. I think that's a good hunting limit. And how's my upgrades going here? You are almost fully upgraded. You need tavern and a level 2 church and more clothing. You need... The same thing. So all these guys are all going to need the same thing. You still need fuel. What is going on there? I have three families working here, right? Yeah. Three families working here. So what if I brought this to three fields? What if I brought this to three fields? Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to wait to get heavy plows? And bring this... And, like, build a huge friggin' field. Like, two or three Morgan. Like, I'm thinking, like, covering this whole area in one large field that produces rye. Alright. Checking my resource levels here, guys. Oh, there it goes there. Boom. Heavy plow can now be done. I'm going to do heavy plow. And I'm going to put in... I have the money for it, too. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add the ability to put an oxen in over there. I'm going to grab a field. And I'm going to bring it up over here like this. 3.1 Morgan. Bring it to 3 Morgan. Rye at 51%. That's a big field. Can I order a livestock to be here? No, but they will just use the one that's close. And I think that that's fine. Honestly, because I'm not doing... I'm not doing like a ton of building right now. So I don't really need the oxen moving stuff around that much right now. So I think that's going to be fine. For, for right now. That's a big freaking field. That's a big field. I'm hoping that I didn't just do something bad by putting in this rye field. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. 50% fertility though. I'm not a huge fan of that. Hey, I'm just going through making sure everything's set up. I don't know why the rye fertility... Oh, because it's already growing. That's weird. It's already growing? You planted it before the winter? Why would you plant it before the winter? Hey man, I'm not a farmer. Maybe that's just what they do. Ah, pfft. Maybe. All right, expand your living space, expand your living space, and then you guys are all expanded, right? So it's just these two that didn't? Okay, good. So let's take a look. You are level two already. You are level two already. You are not, so you are going to get upgraded. You are not, so you're going to get upgraded. You are not, so you are going to get upgraded. Okay, new messages. What do we got here? We received reports of a band of raiders roaming the lands nearby. Track their movements. Where, oh where, oh where are the raiders? 
see if I can spot them zipping around the map. I knew they were going to be here. Like I said, I made it so they would come. Just give me a little bit of time to get set up first. But I knew they were going to come. I just don't see them yet. Now, I did this because raiders are a good... ...are a good set out to get some extra goods. There's an extra windmill down here. And an extra granary. If I built that, I could add like a whole nother little area down here. How's my ride fertility down here? Not bad here. Not bad up here. Well, more up here, I guess. Maybe I could put more people over here. Maybe put like a big old farm field over here. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Let's get through winter here. We know they're coming. I have material. I have armor and weapons in my large storehouse here. Spears and light large shields that I can use to set people up and protect them and use them to protect our people when the raiders come. Okay. Okay. I need to think long term here. Right? I need to think a little long term. I think this is interesting that this is losing fertility, but whatever. Um, I need to start doing some more upgrades to get more different types of food up for people. I have a lot more families that just moved in. And I only made one massive farm field. Are they using the oxen to do this? They are not. Assign an oxen to go over there and live there. Linhart got moved there. Okay. That's probably what I needed to do in order to get them using that. Because there's no way they're going to be able to cultivate all of this without that oxen. There we go. Hey. This is her oxen pal. Is he going to start putting that work in? He sure is. Look at him go. I was going to say, is he going to... What? What? What are you... What are you doing? Oh, this is like the weirdest. This is the... The weirdest plowing I've ever seen in my life. What are you doing? Well, like I said, I'm not a farmer. Maybe this is how you do this. But I'm just looking at this thinking, wouldn't it make sense to just go back and forth? And plow the whole thing at once? No? But you work here? Okay, yeah, yeah, because they're growing. Okay. Holy blah, they, they cut that down a lot. Um... I'm going to up your hunting limit to like 18. I didn't realize that was going to bring that all the way down to woof. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of whoom, dead animals that you just killed. And I don't have meat? After all that, I don't have meat? Freaking fuel supply, I swear. Um... All right, I got a, I got a lot of money. This is what I'm going to do. This is my sheep guy, right? Or my goat guy? No, that's not my goat guy. So you are going to grow an apple orchard. That was very expensive. You are going to grow a veggie farm and you are going to grow a chicken coop. Okay, and then I'm going to hold off and some of these other guys are going to be like my cobblers and stuff like that. But I just needed, I wanted to secure more food for my people. Are these your apple trees? Those are your apple trees, I could tell. I wish there was a way that I could edit one of these and like drag the burgage plot out. That would have been awesome. Anyway, 
enough about all that. I need to do something else. I need to get started on something else, guys. And that is getting my manor built. I am already a small village. I need to get to uh, actually a large village. I needed to get to small village in order to get my manor built. But now I definitely can. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to build my manor right here. And for now, I'm going to pull it back here like this. Right into the middle there like that. And then just grab some roads and run it up to the front door. My manor's nothing special. I never wanted it to be special, but this is me. That's it. Boom. There we go. Now that was the last of our stone. Okay. So we need to start doing something about that. I'm going to come over here, get mining going, get a stone mine going. Put that in right there. We're going to get some stone mining going, get that stone taken care of. There's only 200 of it there, so I'm not going to sell any of it. And then also, I'm going to get a trading post built. I'm going to put that trading post across next to our church. You know what? No, I'm going to put the trading post over here. There we go. Okay. Going to throw another family into the farmhouse, hopefully make a little bit more progress here. That's taken a long time. It's already, well, it's only spring. It's only spring. So as long as we get that stuff planted before spring, it should be okay. What are you doing? 55 yield. Almost all the way grown. Okay. Wow, that's gone up to 64%. That got way higher. Okay. Add another family there. That's good. Tannery, honestly, that's fine there. Um, storehouse has got a person. The granary's got a person. The windmill's got a person. That's fine. I guess we can start on possibly even more farming. Like getting more fields down and possibly like expanding that out more. Because I feel like food is where we're going to start diminishing here quickly. Oh, this poor oxen's just chilling out here. There we go. Oof. Well, good thing there's a lot of them out here doing this, because, yeah, this is not going to be something that's going by quick. If this field produces, though, it's going to be big. It's going to be a big field. And with it going through and being done later in the year, like I did this last one, and not doing the cultivation like I did with this one, which they plowed it before the, the winter came somehow. Maybe it'll work better. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that does. Okay. Are you built? No, <laughs> not even close. But the trading post is done. Get a person working there. Let me look at trade. I could sell planks for two apiece. It cost me seven gold to establish the trade route. I'm going to do it. Okay. Then I'm going to export. This down to... I'm going to say 40. 77 down to 40. That's a lot of planks. And if I'm going to constantly sell planks whenever I produce them, I need to get somebody working in my saw pit again. <laughs> in fact, you know what? I got the people. I'm going to put two people working in the saw pit. This logging camp will be able to provide plenty of logs, especially if I throw another person in there just like that. Still got four families left that could use some work. You know what? Have another family work in the farmhouse. Why not? And then grab a field. Throw another field in. Boom. 
This guy, crop rotation fallow this year. Rye next year. And then, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm going to pull the trigger. Boom, another field. Fallow this year, crop rotation. Rye next year. Just let that become really, really fertile. Nice and fertile. Okay, this guy. Oof. Not really producing anything. I got time before the harvest, but he's not really producing anything. Who is missing what? Fuel. Still with the fuel thing. Still with the fuel. Are we... We have plenty of supply, right? Yeah. Do I just need another person here selling the stuff? You're not too far away, so I don't know what's going on there. I, I don't get that. All right. Let me see. We got a bunch of new stuff here. Family members joined. Nice. New retinue assembled. Manor. Nice. So we, I have my retinue now. So I have a retinue of people that I can use in order to gain some people. I'm going to add two months of fuels reserve, I guess. But this is going to start producing influence. And you know what else I'm going to do? 2%, 5% tithe. Give me a little bit more influence because I want to take over like this area here. I want to say like this zone, because if I look. There's some spots in here that are excellent for barley. And barley's what I'm going to need to start looking at next. Maybe I'll take over this spot. A lot of good barley farmland in here because I need to start getting ready for beer. And because these guys are going to want taverns in order for me to upgrade them again. So we're going to need to start preparing for that. Okay. So, honestly, guys, are you going to produce? I want to see how this produces before I end the episode. It's already at 49, but it's got 14 days left before it harvests. I can give it a little bit more time before they produce the harvest. Let's wait out this and see what the production looks like. You know what else I just noticed? This is about to be done. Yield is 1,000, but it's going to end up producing like... Uh, probably 70 rye, but that's okay. This guy produced 200. This produced 1,000. So, yeah, this field is definitely more worth it to have a field that size than four this size. But for now, uh, I think that this is a good farming setup. It's going to give us plenty, 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 plenty of rye, plenty of food for us to be able to store back over here. Look at that, 47 rye in there right now, and this guy's not even close to being done being harvested yet. There they go, they're all going over there to do the harvest now. So this is going to be a ton of food over here for us. That's going to all get pumped into here. This rye is then going to get pumped over here into the windmill, thus creating flour for us. That flour is going to go over here to the communal oven, make tons of bread, pushing our food, food supply way up allowing us to add even more burgage plots more people that's all good also i'm rich just saying started selling wood and guess what i'm i'm now i'm now rich i have so much money off of just selling some some basic planks that are an infinite resource so now that i have unlimited money and tons and tons and tons of food not not quite as Honestly, not, not quite as much as I thought that I would have in there, but this has 134. So, you know what? It's good. It's actually good. 
It's actually really, really, really good. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next one, we're going to go through. We're going to upgrade our church. We're going to build everything we need to upgrade our church. We are going to be working on upgrading our manor even more with the tithe. We're going to start getting even more influence coming in. That's going to make it so we can start going through and conquering new lands. I think I need a thousand influence. Yeah, a thousand influence in order for me to go through and get this. Also, in the next one, we're probably going to get attacked by raiders. So anyway guys thank you all so much for watching this one if you liked it make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one